there, this is Mr. Chili here, and let's talk about Dragon Ball Super 86. And it looks like the arc is over. The, this is the end right here. Probably got one more chapter to the arc is over. But it was okay arc. Like, it wasn't too bad. Like, it could have been better. Yes, I probably definitely won Vegeta to take the win. But I'm glad that Granola took the win against Gas and the Heaters. Because this was mostly about his arc, in a way, you think about it. This was, was, if you picture it, this arc uh, with Ganola fighting the Saiyans and the Heaters um, is kind of like what Vegeta went through. That's why you can see that Vegeta and Ganola had like some kind of connection during this arc. Because um, he saw himself in them. Because look at the comparisons, all right? Ganola um, was a kid when his parents died. His mom got killed by the Heaters. By got uh, electing the heaters, got killed, and his race basically got extinct. Um, by the the Saiyans, but but because of the heaters, the heaters brought him over to work with Frieza, told him to take over, they bought the place and everything, blah blah blah. But yeah, so it was all because of the heaters, and this was his kind of revenge in a way. He, he even worked for the heaters. So, same thing with Vegeta. Vegeta worked with the Frieza. He killed his father, uh, killed his people, and he had to work with him as well. Same thing as Granola. So, that's why they had so much sincerity. That's why they both grew up hating revenge. And remember, this was kind of like um, Vegeta's wish, too. When we first met Vegeta, he wanted to become a mortal, a godlike person, a super powerful, a super saiyan. He wanted to wish on the Dragon Balls. This was exactly Vegeta in his old days. Granola. So, when Vegeta saw him, Granola was like, was like him, he made that wish. He made the wish to be the ultimate powerful person. The ultimate powerful being in the universe to take down and get his revenge. That's what Vegeta wanted. He wanted to be the most powerful person in the world, the, per the most powerful per um, being in the universe, so he could take down Frieza. Same thing, see? Similar. So, definitely, I, I like the Granola character. Like I said, it has a lot of similarity to Vegeta. And I think, I bet you at the end of this arc, if somehow Gano is gonna live, he's a new cool character. I like him. He's a cool character. Um, I can't wait to play him again. They're probably gonna make a game with Gano's in it. All these new Dragon Ball Super, they're gonna they're gonna make a game of it. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I like the new characters. I hope we get Brawly more in these. They're, they're creating new stuff, so it's it's I right. like I said, it's I right. it's I. Right. I like the scenery that Go uh, Vegeta and Gano had. That was cool. But I hope after this arc, we get some sane stuff. I, I think we are. We we. They see how hyped this was when Bardock got introduced. We, we could learn more about Vegeta's background. His brother is similarly out there. Um, we heard more about Radish in here. So uh, it would be cool to see the Saiyans again. Why don't they try to bring back Planet Vegeta back? That would be cool. Or bring it. They have the Super Dragon Balls bring back their people. You think Vegeta would try that? Like the Saiyan Goku, after they learn about um, his father Bardock, he will try to bring him back to life. Maybe he'll, he wants to learn more about his Saiyan heritage. Maybe because look, when he learned about his father during his arc, Goku did, he basically got power up. That's what uh, unlocked more his ultra instinct, unlocked more his self. So I have a feeling maybe Goku is going to do a crazy wish, maybe, and bring back his same race so he could learn to unlock more his power that's been locked in store. Ever since he banged his head, he lost all that memory, all that his mother, his father. I have a feeling they might come back, maybe. The Saiyans are probably the most, the same race is what drives cells, you say, in Dragon Ball Super. That's why you see only Vegeta and Goku mostly, because they're Saiyans and they're the most popular character. If it is not them, probably Gohan, Trunks, Goten, the other Saiyans. Those are the popular characters. So the, you see how popular Brawly is, you think they're gonna try to bring others? I bet you they will. So I bet you the next arc of this story is gonna evolve around the Saiyans. That's my prediction. But I'm glad this is over. Then we can move forward. Gas is defeated, but we'll see what happens to the other heaters. Looks like they're not that strong because the electing help whatsoever to stop um, Granola to uh, attack against Gas. But it's cool. We got some cool power up. Like I said, Vegeta had a lot of good moments here. We got Goku's backstory uh, about his father. He learned about his father finally. And like I said, it's good arc. I think this is like probably the second best arc in Dragon Ball Super. In Dragon Ball Super. Like, I like the Goku Black, that's my favorite, the Goku Black arc, and this will probably be second. And probably the, with Jin and Goku, I think the, the Battle of the Universe is second. 
uh, yeah, the the second tournament of the universe. So that will oh, be third and all the rest like that. Ah, don't care. Um, but yeah, this was pretty good. I give it a good seven out of ten. It was okay. It was good. I'm glad to know it took the win. But like I said, give me your thoughts of Dragon Ball Super Chapter eighty six. What do you think about it? what you think's gonna happen in the future? This was a fun, like I said, it was a fun arc. I'm glad it's over. It was cool to see. A lot of good action, a lot of good fights. Like I said, this is going to be awesome animated uh, show, I mean, episodes when this come out. Uh, and when this series, when Dragon Ball Super comes back, all this is going to be good. Dragon Ball, that's one thing about Dragon Ball people got to understand. It may not be great in manga. It's not going to do great in sales. But when it comes to animation, that's what it kicks off a bang. Because... Even, I remember when Dragon Ball Super came back, it was still going crazy. Um, the brawling movie made blockbuster sales. The um, the fight between Goku and G and I'm here to, oh my God, everyone was going nuts for it. They were making bets who's going to win, Goku or G and Goku or G and who's going to take down G and it was just, uh, it was going nuts. People were talking about it everywhere. So, like I said, because the animation is what makes uh, Dragon Ball, anything, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT, the animation makes Dragon Ball more popular. That's it's always been like that forever. Because the, the crazy fight scenes, if they get good people doing the, the graphics and the animation and all that stuff, it'd be out of the park. This would be probably the best series ever, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Super. So we'll see how. I can't wait to this all gets animated. I can't wait for more Dragon Ball Super anime. So that's where I like. I like the animation. The manga is always okay. It's okay. Hopefully the story gets better. I hope the next arc, like I said, it's based around more Saiyans. I would like to learn about Planet of Vegeta more, more of Vegeta's background story. Um, it would be cool to see Go, uh, Goten and uh, Trunks learn about their heritage, Trunks, uh, I mean, um, Gohan, all the Saiyans learn about the heritage. It's cool to see more Saiyans. It would be cool to see Nappa and Radish back. Uh, if anyone returned back to life, it would be cool to see those two characters back, see the reaction, see them turn to Super Saiyan, see them turn to different um, outfit. Same thing with Barda. Same thing with uh, King Vegeta. Uh, what's Vegeta's mother look like? See all those. What's Vegeta's brother um, uh, more look like? I think I saw a picture of his kid, but what he looks like as an adult. It would be cool to see all this. So I hope the next arc is a Saiyan arc, to be on. Be, be exact. Kind of looks like they're going like Deja Vu. We had like a, the movie, the new Dragon Ball Super movies, kind of like androids, going back to androids again. Um, this is called more like a Frieza arc in a way you look at it. It was kind of like a, a resemble to the Frieza arc. The last arc, the Mortal or Mortal, the goat dude, was kind of like a Marjibu arc in a way because it had Marjibu in there. And um, yeah, it was, that was kind of like a Marjibu alike a lot. They have similarities. So you get a lot, of people, a lot of things similarities again, you think about it. So we need kind of like a similarity to that same arc again. And you know, like the when Fiji and Nappa and Radish, that similarity again, we need kind of like something like that. I think the next arc will be like that. I have a feeling, crossing my fingers. But we'll see who's the next big baddies. Who we'll see, we'll see what the next transformation is. We'll see what the next story is. Dragon Ball Super. Maybe it'll be the last. I don't know. Maybe we'll be going to the ending arc. Who knows? We'll find out next year, most likely. Because August, yeah, we just have August. We have a couple months August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. Five more chapters to the end of this year. See what happens by the end of this year. To hype. Let's find out. Comment below. Like I said, give me your thoughts on Dragon Ball Super Chapel 83. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Please hit that like button. And please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And please share this channel with all your nerd friends that are talking about anime, manga, games. I'm going to be talking about games. I'm going to talk, talk about toys, Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe, Star Wars. I'll talk about all that. I'll talk about great movies. I'm probably going to be talking about my channel, Nope. Um, that movie that's been dropping down soon on this Friday or tomorrow. Um, nope. So I'm going to check that out as well. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all you guys out there subscribing and liking my page. Thank you all again. I hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.